All right, what's good, guys? So we're into part two here um, of the uh, Ice Pill Guide. I'm um, going in the first game against Stardust. Um, he's going to go Mega Minion. I'll just cycle an Ice with the same lane. No idea what this guy plays, so... Just going to kind of have to feel him out before I, like, make any kind of plans. Um, he's going to go Baby Drag. Baby Drag, Mega Minion. What kind of deck? Maybe, like, a Beatdown deck. Could be, like, a weird E-Giant. Um, he's gonna go Barbaro on top of the Tesla. Honestly, I might just go with an Expo since I do have the Ice Biz already set up. Okay, so it's Golem. Cool. That's fine. Um, from what he's... Oh, what the heck? Cannon. Cannon Golem. That's really weird. Um, but yeah, okay. I'm gonna go Knight. And then, from what he's, uh, played so far... I'm guessing that he has lightning, so I'm not going to go for an Ice Boost because I just give him too much value. I'm just going to go with my Knight and then pull that off with the Nato. Um, Knight should clean this up pretty well. And then I'll probably start setting up in the other lane here. He's going to go Mega Minion in the back again. So I'm already back to Expo and one more card. Um, I could go cycle my Skellies and just go in, but I'm trying to think what the best kind of strategy is here. I'm going to go for a Tesla at the bridge first. You know his Golem's like kind of out of cycle. There's the Barber. I'm gonna go in now since uh, he used like a decent bit of elixir. Yes, Golden Knight. Okay, that's not great. Um. Oh jeez, he is. He's already back to cannon. Yeah, I don't know. He has a he has a surprisingly fast cycle for a Golem deck. Um, like normally I would want to go in if his Golem was out of cycle, but he does have the cannon, so which kind of makes it a little bit weird. Um. So. Hopefully, uh, I mean, I'm like 90% sure he does have lightning, so I'm kind of scared about this, the rest of this game. This is a pretty tough matchup with Golden Knight and lightning, um, as well as cannon just to, like, snipe my Expos. So we're going to go Ice Boost in the back, Tesla up high, and then see if we can get something going with an Expo. He's going to go Baby Drag. I'm actually going to not go in yet. I'm going to go Knight to protect for this Tesla. Skelly's to block for the Barbarrel, hopefully. Yeah, nice. We actually get the Barbarrel that time. Um, he goes for a Golden Knight. That's fine. I'll just go with the second Tesla, I think. Okay, nice. We actually catch a cannon. I don't know what... This guy's weird with his cannons. Um, I'm gonna go for my... Expo now. He does have enough for Golem. Golden Knight connects on my tower, too. What I'm trying to do in this matchup is pretty much just, like, get a lock-on. Um, maybe outcycle his Golem is, is the play. I don't really know, since it is, like, kind of a weird Golem deck. I'm kind of, like, deciding on the fly. So that's why I'm not, like, that positive on what I'm doing. So I'm gonna try and go in for another Expo here, I think. Um, Tesla up high. Oh my gosh, he keeps playing cannons right there. It's so annoying. Um, okay, wait, he lightens that. It's pretty dang aggressive. He's not going to have enough for Golem yet, I don't think. I'm going to go actually Knight Skelly's other lane. Just to, like, pressure him a little bit. Nato this Golem out of range now. Yeah, that's perfect. So we, we kind of made a panic since we went with the opposite lane pressure right there. Um, because he couldn't, he couldn't defend both right away. So we're going to go Ice was low here. We get a lot of damage on the right, but not enough to catch up, unfortunately. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep going in with Expo. He actually goes for a NATO. That was a really bad NATO by him. I don't know what that was, to be honest. He's gonna activate the ability. Then I'm gonna wait for it to pop, and then go with my Knight and my Log to hopefully deal with this cannon and, like, deal with all this stuff. Please get a lock. Okay, yeah, we get a connection. Um, not really much damage, though, unfortunately. We need to get another, like, big Expo connection here to win this game. Um, although I don't have NATO in cycle, so I'm definitely not gonna be able to get a lock on with my, um, Expo right here, but I still gotta try, still gotta bait out the Golem. I'm gonna go Knight for this Baby Dragon low, and then, um, I guess we'll go Tesla up high. He might just Lightning that, we'll see. No, uh, here's Gold Knight. Pretty much, Gold Knight's basically the same as a Lightning, because it just dashes through absolutely everything. I'm gonna go for a Rocket right now, actually, and try and maybe outspell Cycle him. Um, he's probably gonna Lightning this Ice Wiz. No, he's gonna go with the Golem. Okay, uh... I'm gonna go Skelly's here, and then... Tesla all the way high. Oh, boy. Okay, we gotta pull this back with the NATO log as well. Ice Wiz. I'm gonna get back to a Tesla, I think. I'm gonna go Tesla, and then I'm gonna go, gonna go Knight super, super high, so we can't run NATO into my uh, tower. I'm gonna go for a Rocket right now. 20 seconds left. Uh, okay, two Baby Dragons. Oh, he smokes. Alright, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go Skelly's up high to kite back something. Shoot, it didn't kite. No, 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 big jag. No, no, big jag. Wait, no, frick. Shoot, 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 shoot. Um, that doesn't get there, right? That doesn't get there, I don't think. Three seconds. Two seconds. We win. <laughs> Let's go. A two HP win. Let's freaking go. That was a really bad matchup. Um, 
I don't know what happened there at the end, but like somehow we managed to barely squeak out the win. Um, Golem's really hard with lightning, but you're just gonna kind of apply pressure and hope for the best. But uh, we'll take that for sure. Alright, found the next match against Jets. Um, I'm pretty sure this guy uses log bait, so... Oh, uh, yep, there's the barrel. Um, luckily, we actually have log and cycle and don't get starting handed, because that's usually how I lose to log bait, to be honest. So log bait, you, you guys um, always want to like prevent damage in single, prevent princess damage, even though we don't right here, because he just goes for it right away. Uh, there's nothing you can really do sometimes, though. You kind of just have to avile the princess to do its thing. The one, uh, like, one big mistake that I see people commonly doing with Expo, even, not even just Expo, just Expo in general, against Log Bait is playing way too many cards in the center, like, like, you're obviously gonna try and predict the princess, and if you do it every single time, you're literally just wasting Elixir, so, it's like, you gotta kinda have to be, you have to pick and choose when you actually try and predict it, and if you go for it every time, they're just gonna easily, like, you're not gonna win the game, that's what I'm saying, you're gonna get... You're never going to have enough elixir to like punish them for anything they do. Um, like this right here, I knew he was going to go princess, we catch it right away. Look at that, that was actually beautiful. <laughs> um, I'm going to go expo right away on 0-2 because I do have this Tesla still up. And I know he played a decent bit of elixir right there. So I'm going to go expo since I do have this and see what he wants to do. Um, he's going to go Valk, so he's definitely not going to go with a rocket. I'm going to go knight. Oh shit, he is in a for now already. Um, I did not expect him to have enough for that, to be honest. And he's probably going to go Princess right here, but I can't really do anything. I'm down like a couple of elixirs, so I kind of have to just wait and see what he wants to do. Yeah, there's the Princess. We're just going to go Skellies. Hopefully, they are enough to clean that up. Um, okay, one Larry OP, I guess. Let's go. Just going to go... Hmm, probably just going to cycle Nice was in the back. I know I need to go for a Rocket soon. Like, I like to always go for aggressive Rockets against Logbait. Um... It's really good to, like, even if you're up just, like, one or two elixir, it's fine to go for a rocket, because if they rocket, you can obviously punish them. So he goes for a barrel. I'm just going to nato this. I'm not going to log it. Oh, shoot, he played it in the back. That was my fault. I, I didn't recognize. So I'm going to go Tesla. Shoot, I have to log this, too, since he did play a gang. Uh, I expected a Valkyrie or a Knight or whatever. I forgot what he has already. There's the Valk. I'm just going to go Skellies up high, and then he goes for a barrel. just going to rocket that princess and then nato this goblin barrel. Um... Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to go for a log on this right side, I think, because these goblins are doing way too much, and I don't want that valve to connect. Um, shoot. So he's gonna go for a barrel again. I need to set up a Tesla. Uh, I'm gonna go Knight for this barrel. Uh, I probably should have went Skeletons as well. That's my mistake right there. Don't know why I didn't, but... Um, hmm. I'm trying to figure out what I can do. Usually, I'm pretty, like, comfortable in these kind of situations, but I know I'm down, like... I'm down like an awkward amount of damage to where um, I can't really catch up easily. I'm gonna go for a rocket. Oh, okay, I missed the princess. It's kind of awkward. He goes for a rocket too. Um, he's probably gonna go with the princess at the bridge, like on the other side now. Um, I'm gonna go with the knight in the center. Holy cow, he's spamming. So I'm gonna have to go with ice wizard up high here. Hopefully he kills the princess. Please kill the princess. Oh my gosh, no way. Okay, we're fine. Um, gonna go Tesla prediction for the princess on the right. He doesn't go for it. Okay. Um, Psycho so Skelly's in the back, and then I gotta go for a rocket right now. He's gonna do the same, I know. Um, but, um, I kinda, like, have no choice. He still needs, wait, he still needs two rockets, doesn't he? Yeah, he has 900 damage on his tower, or on my tower. Um, that's, like, he needs, like, four logs, so there's no way he gets that in time. I'm trying to think what I should do. I'm gonna have to go in with pressure here soon, so I gotta win this bridge battle. I'm gonna spam a Tesla at the bridge and then cycle, a, or play a log on that barrel. Um, Gonna go with an expo right now. I'll force out a rocket, hopefully. Gonna nato this gang and then go skellies. Okay, he actually rockets. He's gonna princess. I'm gonna go knight in the middle. Nice, we catch that. Um, gotta go ice whiz on top of this princess because it's gonna retarget if I do not. Um, log and then wait, maybe I can win this. He still needs two logs, right? Yeah, he needs two logs and a rocket. So I'm gonna go for a <clears throat> knight in the back, cycle my nato. All I need is one rocket. Um, I think I can actually win this. Please barrel. Oh my gosh, he barreled. That's actually such a big mistake by him. Um, we're gonna rock it right away and we win, I think. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Dude, these, these matches are like absolutely insane right now. I don't know why they're so close, but I'll take the win. Um, let's freaking go. Alright, found a match against Mysterious here. Gonna give him the good luck. Not sure what he's using. Um, cycle my skellies in the middle. I always don't really mind going for a log first play, as long as they're not playing bait, obviously. Um, so, 
He's gonna cycle a log. Not sure what he's running. It's probably... Hmm. Could be, like, Mortar. Could be... What else? What else has, like, all these cycle cards? Could be, like, Hog. Um, he's not playing anything, though, so it doesn't make me... Like, if he was playing, like, Hog or something, he'd probably go in with the card. He wouldn't just sit in the... Or, like, sit here. Um, I'm gonna go with a... Oh, no, my finger slipped. Frick. I was gonna go with a uh, Tesla, like, in the center, but my finger slipped one tile to the left here. Um, he's gonna activate that ability. I'm gonna have to rock it and then NATO for the screen, I think. Yeah, that's not a good start. Uh, definitely caught me in an awkward cycle. I also kind of put myself in an awkward cycle with that bad Tesla. So that was my bad right there. Um, hopefully we can recover from that. Queen Bow's actually a pretty tough matchup as well. Um, it's really hard to come back when you get down, like, over one rocket's worth of damage. So, hopefully we can do it. Um, he's gonna cycle probably back to another Queen in the center, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, he's gonna play a queen soon. I'm just gonna go for a log first. There's the queen at the bridge. Okay, he's, he's pretty aggressive, so I'm just gonna go with a knight. Um, okay, luckily my ice was actually, like, did one shot on that queen. So it, uh, slowed it down. Um, if I go in, he's just gonna go for a Valkyrie and then Tesla. So, I'm gonna actually go for a Tesla on this Valk. Um, my cycle's not great. He might go expo. Yeah, I played the, the Tesla like one tile where it doesn't hit the expo. So I know, I don't know. Maybe another little mistake by me. I'm definitely not playing this one too cleanly. Um, I gotta sharpen up and double. But hopefully we can uh, still come back. I'm gonna tank this Ice Spirit. Not gonna overcommit with a log or an Ice ice Wizard. So, yeah, just gonna go for defensive expo now. Um, hmm. He's gonna rock it. That's good for me, I think. I'm glad he didn't rock in my tower right there, because I kind of would have been screwed, to be honest. So I'm going to go with a knight in the back. He goes for a queen. Queen's going to be difficult. I might low-key rocket NATO this. Um, yeah, I'm going to try it, at least. Oh, we hit it. Let's go. He's going to go Falcom on a prediction Tesla as well. Okay, nice. We're, we're heating up a little bit. Um, he goes for an expo in the other lane. This might be a little bit of trouble for me. Um, going to go expo, or not expo, knight, ice whiz on top of that. Okay, he's going to... Oh, no way. I thought my Ice Wiz was going to splash that expo. That was not good right there. He's going to get a ton of damage now because of that. Dang, that's so unfortunate. I'm um, going to try and rocket tower. I don't know. He's going to rocket my tower. Maybe that was a bad rocket. I should have probably just played it on top of the expo, but maybe we can like try and do some mind games here or something. I don't really know. Um, but I'm going to cycle my knight in the right lane. Ice Wiz in the back. Um, probably log for this expo just to kill the like make it die a little bit quicker um we're gonna go for a defensive expo of my own actually yeah he's gonna go expo at the bridge okay nice my my um expo actually locked into his really quickly so that was really fortunate right there that he uh, popped the queen ability when he did i'm just gonna rocket tower since i have this whole expo up if he rockets i might be able to do something here i'm gonna cycle my skellies first and then probably spam an expo on zero to be honest We'll place it on the right side so he has like a harder time sniping it with the Tesla. Um, I'm also going to go for my Tesla now. Nice, we catch the queen. Um, I'm going to try and get a walk with the NATO maybe. Uh, we get like a little bit of damage, but not enough to where I can win the game. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm in a pretty bad spot. I'm going to have to rocket this expo on defense. And then if he rockets my tower, we could be okay. I'm going to go for a Tesla first. Just in case he predicts. Yeah, he does. Okay, I'm going to be patient here. Um, he pops the queen ability. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's spending a lot of elixir. I'm going to go knight and then expo of my own. I know I'm playing the expo up high. I actually did this on purpose um, because I want to try and like predict him. I'm going to catch the cannon with the ice right there. And then hopefully we get a queen with a knight. Okay, we actually catch the queen. I'm going to nato up. Oh, we catch the skellies. No way. Log for the e-spirit. We win. We win. Let's go. I don't know what it is, but I, I don't know. We just were like really, really patient right there, and that was the key to that matchup. And that matchup's obviously really tough. You have to play so, so like clinically to win, but we'll take that. Uh, definitely a solid win. All right, in the next match against this guy from Change White, um, most of the people in this clan play three Musketeers, so we're gonna have to see if that's what he's using. He's gonna cycle a Rage on my tower. No way, that's disrespectful. So I'm gonna log his. Um, go for Skellies on top of the Bar Barrel. It could be 3M, Loki. Um, he goes for a ghost. Yeah, it might be actually. So we're just gonna cycle a knight, same lane. Against 3M, you really wanna like make sure you are uh, like 
like not i don't know how to describe it you kind of need to make sure that you're like not taking any damage in single or like taking very minimal damage um if you can get into triple elixir like down only one rocket worth of damage you're definitely chilling um you also have to rocket every single pump in single if you take if you like try and go for an expo in single elixir um when they go for a pump you're probably going to lose the game right away um if they're smart because all they have to do is just like play one card and then go barbarrel on top of your expo and it's like already dead so because barbarrel is so broken against the expo um but anyway i'm just gonna cycle nice who's in the back yeah he's gonna go for the 3m now since my rocket is out of cycle defensive expo is the only play pretty much you have um against 3m when your rocket's out of cycle because obviously you don't have valkyrie so you can't just like set up a tesla and then valk the other side uh, it doesn't quite work the same um, gonna go for skellies for these two musketeers on the right and then also a knight and yeah this should be a pretty clean defense he might get like a little bit of damage on this right side yeah he gets one shot whatever that's fine that's really that's like optimal for me um, we're almost in double and we're only down 100 hp so that's a really really good start um if he pumps again i'm gonna rocket it um but if he's not okay hold on uh yeah i still have to rocket i almost win with an expo and i would have lost the game now that i'm thinking about it because he does have golden knight back in cycle and if i play an expo like into a golden knight all he has to do is activate the ability in barbarrel and it's completely dead like the expo is completely gone um which is really frustrating obviously for an expo player but there's nothing you can really do about it so just gonna have to go for another defensive expo here and cycle back to my rocket for the next pump um i'm gonna go knight up high and then he's gonna actually 3m i'm gonna nato them all in the same lane don't know if that was a great play by him since i do have like plenty of elixir right now he goes for a rage as well wow okay so that's pretty dang aggressive um expo should clean up most of that and then I'm, honestly he's gonna pump probably like right, right now um okay he actually goes pump literally the exact same second that i said i'm gonna go for a nato and then just knight for this ghost and we're in a really really good situation now he goes barbell it's just an easy log to push the barb onto my knight hopefully okay it doesn't even go into my knight don't know how but he's gonna be forced to go golden knight and pop the ability um this is when you want to like play more aggressive since he, he already has a pump he's probably gonna try and get another one now um, i'm gonna go for an expo right now um skellies okay we predict him again let's go um he's smarter with the ice golem this time though uh, barbara we're gonna log this try and force a lock um oh wow he's already back to golden knight he literally just played golden knight or it was like just alive a second ago so i don't know how that how that happened but anyway we're gonna cycle an ice with the back we have controlled this game, even though it looks a little sketchy with the two pumps on the board. Um, we're fine right now. If he goes for 3M, I can just NATO rocket them. So, yeah, we're going to NATO them all in the same lane. Um, go for a rocket on top of the three. And then just go skeletons for this one E-barb. And yeah, pretty solid right there. Uh, we're going to go defensive expo. Okay, um, he's probably gonna 3M again. Yeah, there they are. I'm gonna still NATO in the same lane. I think that's the best play that you can, that you can possibly make, is make sure you pull them all into one lane and then just log them, because, like, they're almost, they're over half HP dead just from that NATO and log. Um, and then, yeah, okay, so we rocket that pump. One minute left. We're in triple now. This is really good. I, there's no way I can lose this as long as I, like, have rocket and cycle for 3M every time. Um, he's gonna try and spam me with E-barbers probably soon. So, I'm gonna pull these musks away. And then, I'm gonna try not to rocket them, actually, this time. I'm gonna go for a log instead. And then, go skellies up high. He goes for a rage on the right, so I'm gonna be forced to ice whiz. Um, he's getting a little bit of damage, but, like, nothing to worry about. I'm gonna go knight up high. Okay, unfortunately, I was trying to block that Tesla. So, it, like, stayed alive, but that didn't quite work out for me. Um, I'm probably gonna just rocket these two musketeers on the right, just to not take any chances. Yeah, I'm gonna just rocket them, and then... Okay, he's gonna spam this left side here. Gonna go with a log and then skellies. Um, knight as well. Tesla up high for the uh, musketeer. And then just pull everything back with the NATO. And yeah, even if he. Yeah, even if, like, he would have had more time, he wouldn't have broke through. Because I have plenty of elixir. I'm already back to another knight. Um, so yeah, really, really good. Like, that's pretty much exactly how you wanna play against 3M. Just play aggressively when they pump um, and double elixir. But in single, you always need to rocket it. Um, number one tip is just to, like, don't go in when they have a gold knight cycle because it's just pointless and that's just gonna end bad for you. All right, found the next game against AKA Luminous from Veterans. Um, gonna log the Spear Goblins. I'm trying to remember what he plays. I've definitely went up against him a bunch of times. Maybe it's just like Mortar Cycle or something. I don't really remember. I'm gonna go Ice Wiz on top of this Miner. Um, 
I mean, I already have this ice was down. I could go expo, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna just nato this gang. I'm trying to remember what he plays. He has goblin gang and spear goblin, so it's either like mortar bait or like something along those lines. Okay, wait, it might be Mega Knight. I just like the skeleton barrel makes me think it's Mega Knight. So we're gonna log that barrel right there. Um, if he spams a miner, I'm gonna try and have to predict it, like because I don't have my nato in cycle. Um, he's probably not gonna play it in the safe spot. So we're gonna go skellies at the perfect time to surround those spear goblins. Against Mega Knight Bait, you just want to play like really patiently. Um, pretty much the only way you can choke and lose against it is if you uh, play a stupid expo and single like on offense. Even if it seems like you might have like a decent counter push, there's no point going with an expo since obviously the Mega Knight will just clean it up um, really easily because you can't really defend an expo with with like anything really in single since obviously you need more elixir. Um, Kind of an awkward defense right here since I don't have my knight cycle. I'm gonna pull the Mega Knight up high and then just go for a knight to finish off the rest of this. Pretty good defense, I'd say, for what I had in hand. Um, could go in. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I could go expo right now since I have a knight supporting, but, like, what's the point? Um, he'd just get a free... I mean, honestly, he doesn't have any good counters in cycle because he only has goblins and minor right now. But, um, still, it'd be a bad idea because he'd probably cycle back to an eye drag or something. Holy smokes, this is whoa, 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 like what is happening? He's spamming really hard. Just gonna NATO. That was a ton of value with the NATO. Just gonna scale these as well just to prevent all minor chip. And yeah, pretty solid clean defense right there. Um that NATO just hit like a gang, a skeleton barrel, and like a minor, all in one. So definitely a pretty solid value. Um also you want to play same lane against um Mega Knight pretty much every single time, because obviously he doesn't have big spell. Um he's gonna go minor on this left side, I'm guessing. So I'm just gonna Tesla up high. Then I don't even need to. Okay, hold on. Let's get a hold. Awkward hand. I'm just gonna go with a defensive expo. I'll log on the right lane here. And then go skellies up high for this eye drag. Oh, okay. We're gonna NATO since he did zap. Um, not bad. He does get a lot of chip on that left side. We'll go for an ice was now. Okay. Kind of bad timing. Um, I don't have anything great in hand either for it. So I'm just gonna wait till it pops and then drop a knight on top. Um, he goes for an eye drag. This could be a decent like situation for me to go in, depending on what he does. Yeah, we're gonna go for an offensive expo since I do have a lot of stuff set up. He does actually predict it, so that was well played. But it doesn't really matter if he predicts it since I have like already everything's already set up. I'm gonna NATO this gang and hopefully we get a connection here. Um, I don't know if he has too much elixir, so yeah, he's gonna go spear goblins on zero basically. And my expo's going crazy on the tower. We take the lead already just from one connection. So we're gonna go ice was in the pack. Keep applying pressure same lane. If he's smart, he's going to have to switch lanes. Yeah, he knows it. Um, so we're going to go for another offensive expo. He's going to Mega Knight, obviously, which is fine. We'll just... I think I'm going to go for Knight right away on top of the Mega Knight. Um, Nato for this eye drag as well. And then just go Skellies on top of the barrel on the other side. I'm trying to save my log for that Miner right there. Yeah, the reason I did that is because I needed to push it off to get a lock-on. And I, think, I thought the lock-on with the expo was more important than defending that Skeleton Barrel. So, we just need two rockets now. Um, can I go for a Tesla? He's probably going to spam pretty hard. He actually goes for a Mega Knight. That's a bad play, though, because I can just go Knight up high and then Ice Fist to clean up the skellies. So, pretty solid clean defense. All I need is two rockets now. And, honestly, I'm just going to go for a Defensive Expo first. I could have just rocketed that. I don't know. Um, for some reason, I want to play it slower. I'm just going to go skellies, and then he's probably going to Mega Knight, so I'll just rocket the bridge. Okay, that's a little bit awkward. He doesn't go for a Mega Knight. Um, so we might might be, might be choking here, low-key. Um, Skelly Barrel in the back. That's interesting. We're going to go Tesla. Skelly's Defensive Expo. Um, we'll go for a Knight on top of that Miner. And yeah, I think now it's pretty safe to go for a Rocket since I have two buildings set up, obviously. I'm going to go Tesla. we that get Eye Drag. And then, wow, he actually gets a ton of value from that um, Mega Knight right there. I'm gonna go Skellies for the Miner, Ice was on top of the Mega Knight, and yeah, we're fine. So all I need to do is save up for a Rocket now. Even though he has Skelly Barrel coming down, I don't need to worry about it. Pretty solid, like, pretty clinical gameplay against Mega Knight. Um, it's like, basically what you want to do is just kind of get an Expo Lock um, after you already have a Defensive Expo set up. So yeah, pretty nice win right there. Okay, I found a game against Fino Final Form. He's literally already putting the Cry emote because he's probably playing Sparky. So, I mean, he shouldn't, I don't know, he shouldn't be, like, gaming already he should at least try to win this matchup i know it's pretty good for me even if he like no matter what variation he has it's gonna be my matchup um but still like he should at least try in my opinion so he's gonna go minions on the right i'll just go with my ice boost to counter those 
He always does like something really aggressive and loses the game right away. Like when I face him, okay, he literally exactly what I'm saying. He goes for a giant at the bridge. Like what is that? Um, yeah, he lost the game already. I don't know what I don't know what he's doing. I'm just gonna cycle my skellies. Um, go for a low knight and just ice to pull that. Uh, what's it called? Mini Pekka over. Kind of had to sacrifice the ice wheels, unfortunately. But like, look at his right side. He's already over half gone. Yeah, he's just gonna give up. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I guess the. Uh, I guess I'll just cut to the end of the match when uh, I win in 3 star. Alright, so strategy against Sparky is just make him rage quit and uh, give up in the first 10 seconds. Alright, found a match here against Killer. I like the smiley faces in his name, they're pretty sick. Um, I kind of want to change my- I don't know, I don't want to change my name because I feel like my name's pretty iconic for like how long I've had it. And I also just like, it's just basic and clean. And nobody else is named just Hunter in the game, like that's a top player, so. It's pretty uh, special to me. So I'm going to go Tesla up high. And then, yeah, I, I think he's playing RG since he has Fisherman Hunter. But we're going to find out. Um, okay, yep, there's the RG. We're going to go Ice Wiz to the side. Probably NATO this RG up. Yeah, he actually has Fireball version too, so that's not great for me. Um, he's going to E-Spirit, so I'll just go Knight on zero. Hopefully we can prevent this RG from shooting. Okay, nice, we do. So, okay, RG Fireball. Um, I think I was talking about it a little bit in the part one is it's really like it's a much much easier um matchup than rg lightning just because you can pretty much play your defensive exos so much more freely and you also like can't really get cycled out like with spells um, if you fireball cycles you you can just catch up with one rocket to, to like basically one rocket does as much as two fireballs um but for lightning like their lightning does i'd say a little bit over three-fourths of what a rocket does so you can't really just like let them cycle lightnings on your tower all game um like against RG Fireball, you don't need to get a lock on with the Expo, but I feel like against Lightning, you kind of need to have at least some pressure um, in order to like have a chance at winning the matchup. So I still like going for the high Teslas, obviously. Um, they're probably like it's probably much my favorite like thing to do in the game. Like with the stack, is just spam high Teslas against RG. Um, so I'm gonna log this Ghost in a second here. Nice, we clipped the Hunter as well. We'll go with an Ice Wiz uh, to the middle here. I don't think he can fireball that if he even has the reaction speed for that. I'm just gonna go Tesla high, and then he might RG this. We'll see. I'm gonna go for a defensive expo. He goes for a queen. Wow, he has queen. I didn't even, didn't even realize that. Um, he's gonna go with an RG. Fisherman's out of cycle though, so that's good for me. He can't uh, pull anything away. Um, I'm just gonna let this RG kind of connect over here, and then go for a log on top of the queen. Yeah, I knew he was gonna pop ability, so I went for a NATO as well. Um, Tesla in the center, since he has Fireball, not Lightning, we don't have to play it up high. Um, he goes for an RG on the right lane, actually kind of a weird play since I do have plenty of Elixir to defend that. He's going to Fireball the Ice Wiz, actually. Hmm, I don't know if I agree with this guy. Uh, he kind of overcommits with that wall right there, but it's fine. I had to, or like, I guess it's a fine play from him since I do have to play the NATO to prevent the damage. But basically what I'm trying to do is just get into Triple Elixir. Um, without being down too much, and then I can easily just Rocket Cycle twice and win the game. So, just gonna go Knight for this Ghost. He goes RG, that's fine with me. We'll go with an Ice Wiz, probably two if he logs. Actually, I'm gonna log it instead of go Ice Wiz, because I need to save that for the left lane on the Queen. Um, he pops the ability. Hmm. I'm actually gonna ignore that Queen and just go with them at Expo. Um, I figured it would only get one shot. Yeah, so we're gonna apply some pressure here. I know it's probably not gonna get any damage. But it's gonna at least force him to play RGs on defense. And let me like control the cycle a little bit more. Just gonna go skellies on top of that. He goes to East Spear, that's kind of annoying. We're, we're gonna log to finish off the RG. And then Ice was on top of this queen. He's gonna pop ability, so we're gonna have to Tesla as well. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Um, so Tesla's gonna get melted by that. We're gonna have to go with the Knight for the RG or the Royal Ghost. I guess Royal Ghost is technically RG too, if you think about it, like the letters. Um, so I'm gonna go, okay, he's gonna play, like, pretty aggressively here. I'm just gonna go for a well-timed log in Tesla, and I should clean up the rest of that push. Yeah, nice. So then we just have to go with the knight on top of the queen. Um, Nato back. And then you go for another defensive expo here. Um, log for this fisherman, since he has an e as well. I'm gonna go ice for low, skellies to protect, and then knight up high. I um, kind of had to spend too much on that left side there, so I didn't really, um, 
defend it perfectly like on the drg i've let the rg take out my entire expo which is kind of bad you don't usually want to do that you usually want to protect your expo a little bit um but i kind of had to 20 seconds left i'm going to be forced to go for a rocket right now um i think we can still be fine as long as he doesn't pre-fireball that tesla he actually goes does fireball it um gonna go night up high log as well and i think we're fine i'm gonna go ice was on this fisherman wait did i choke wait rocket 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 Okay, we barely actually, we actually literally barely got that down. I should definitely not have went for that ice whiz. I should have played rocket first and then went for the ice whiz like after. Um, but we still take the win. Pretty like solid. I don't know. RG Fireball, I'd say is about 50-50 for the matchup. But we managed to uh, outplay him at the end and just kind of squeak out a win. Definitely a solid dub though. Alright, we found the game against EGW. Um, he's probably going to be playing Mega Knight like he usually is at least. So we're going to go for an ice whiz on top of that miner. Fully counter it. Um, <laughs> just gonna give him some emotes, uh, cause he, uh, we always give each other a couple of emotes, you know, just for good luck and whatever. So just gonna go for a knight on top of this prince. Um, don't have skellies in cycle, or I probably would go with that. Okay, he goes for pre-arrows for the skellies. I like the aggression, um, but doesn't quite pay off for him that time. <laughs> I'm not gonna go, actually, I'm gonna go for, um, okay, what the heck, giant skelly. Um, that definitely caught me off guard a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so Giant Skelly Miner, Arrows, Prince. So he's probably just playing like the normal, normal deck he does play. Yeah, he's literally playing the same exact deck he does play, but just like with a uh, Giant Skeleton. Maybe instead of the Mega Knight, I'm guessing. Like, what else would you replace that for? Um, so, gonna go Skelly's on top of this Miner just to help DPS down. Um, I suppose he's gonna get one shot on right lane, but he does get like a little bit of damage from that Miner. He actually has more damage on my left side, I didn't even realize. Don't know what it was from, but yeah. Um, that's fine. I'm just gonna kind of play patient. The key against Mega Knight, um, this kind of Mega Knight deck, even though it's not Mega Knight, it's literally Giant Skeleton. But like, the, the whole deck is a Mega Knight deck. You can just replace the, the one card. Um, what you want to do is just pretty much play patient and kind of like similar to Mega Knight Bait where you want to um, play a defensive expo into an offensive expo, or at least like a defensive Tesla into an expo. Like right here, he goes for the giant skelly in the back. I don't know if I agree with that play. So that's gonna force, or I'm not gonna, not force out, but I'm gonna go for a, um, what's it called? A expo on the left lane. Um, probably not gonna get any damage from it, but like at least it's gonna force out a prince from him and also wall breakers too now. So pretty solid. And we're gonna go knight low for this giant skeleton just to make sure it doesn't get to my tower. Um, probably cycle an ice in the back now. And then I think we can probably set up to go in pretty soon here. Yeah, he's gonna go queen. I'm actually gonna go... Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go for defensive expo, like, right now. He might go with the ability. Oh, he actually waits way too long because now I can just log the um, queen. We catch the miner with the skellies as well. I figured he'd go on my uh, expo and on my tower. So we were right there. Um, nice prediction. He's probably gonna prince in the back or something. He's gonna go minions. That's fine. We'll go with the Tesla up high. See what he wants to do here. Um... He actually play wow, he actually plays the giant skeleton. I don't know if I agree with that play. I'm gonna log to kill that and then rocket the queen because I don't want to deal with that to be honest. Um yeah, and really good defense. If we keep defending like this, we should be able to just rocket cycle at the end anyways. But I kind of feel like we can get an expert lock since he doesn't have Mega Knight, he has giant skeleton. So I'm gonna go with a knight in the back to catch the miner. We don't catch it because we're trash. I'm gonna NATO everything up here to try and prevent damage. And then that actually like sets that actually actually, wow, I can't speak, sets me up perfectly for a Expo since, um, I'm not trying to say since like the ice was still alive and I could counter push with it. So, we're gonna go knight here. He might minor this, he's gonna go prince actually. Um, arrows as well, that's fine. We'll probably just try and set up for the next expo. Yeah, this is actually a really good situation. I think he's gonna have to, he's not back to giant skelly. Um, he's gonna go wall breakers and then he might be back now. Um, he's actually gonna play queen that's kind of a big mistake by him but i think that might be the only thing he had in cycle i actually get a lock on he's gonna be forced to zap this um expo right now and i still think we can protect it enough to where it gets another lock well, i'm not gonna nato i'm actually just gonna rock it right away oh we should have rocketed sooner we would have hit that miner but um unfortunately we don't he actually goes for a arrows on zero so i'm gonna go expo kind of weird because i'm going expo like right after i rocketed uh, the tower <laughs> so it's like it seems like a bad play but um i know i'm a elixir so I'm not really worried about it. Just gonna go with a. Oof, that was kind of a painful ice was to watch. 
because it just died instantly, but, um, yeah, not the end of the world. Literally 40 seconds left. All we need to do is play defense now and rocket at the last second if he gets enough damage to even catch up. Um, he's probably going to giant skelly, yeah. So we got to rocket this, um, prince and giant skeleton. Gets a lot of value right there. Gonna go skellies to kite that prince over. Um, activate my king tower, I guess. Play ice boost to kite the minions over. And then I don't need to log at those four workers, I don't think. 20 seconds left. I'm just gonna play it safe, play another defensive expo. Um, he's gonna go super aggressive, but it doesn't matter. Like, anything he does isn't gonna work because I have plenty of elixir to defend. Um, skellies, and then we'll just nail these wall workers out of range. And that's gonna be game. So we have seven seconds left. Ice boost on top of this miner. We don't even catch it, but um, even if he gets back to arrows, there's no way he wins. Yeah. So, pretty good game right there. Pretty much how you want to play. Um, get that one expo walk to win you the game and like protect it as much as you can. Um, prevent as much minor chip as possible. And obviously, you can't, like, like a, can't let a prince or a queen connect. So, that was pretty solid uh, gameplay right there, I'd say. Alright, found the next match here against Hero from Change White. Wait, I played this clan already in this video, I think. Um, he was playing 3M, so obviously this guy's not playing that. Um, we're gonna go skellies on top of the wall breaker, gonna go knight on top of the spears. I'm trying to dis dissect what he's playing. It looks like kind of a minor cycle deck. If he has miners right here, it's gonna confirm it, yeah. Um, so we're gonna go with a nato to pull that off. So yeah, against minor cycle, you pretty much, I don't know, you kinda, hmm, it's a little bit of a tricky matchup. Um, you have to read your opponent way more and see like how aggressive they're gonna play. Um, because it's gonna be there's either one or two things you could do you could either set up for like defensive expos all game and go for rocket cycle or you can like try and like force an expo lock which is probably what i'm gonna do in this game um because this guy seems like to be to be a pretty dang aggressive player so yeah he's actually gonna go with a minor um when i already have a knight set up so kind of a, i don't know a little bit too aggressive from him i'd say but um Right here, I think I'm gonna go for another Ice Wiz in the back, see if he wants to play Spell. He's gonna Wall Breakers, but luckily I do have Login Cycle. Um, Spear Goblins in the middle, that's fine. Hmm, trying to figure out how I'm gonna uh, like apply, apply pressure. I'm just gonna go for an Expo and probably not protect it very much. Um, I just wanna see what he has. Okay, so he has Might Mighty Miner and not Valkyrie. I kinda thought he had Valk, so I'm glad that we forced that out of him. He's gonna pop the ability, that's kind of annoying for me to uh, deal with. Just gonna NATO back the Mighty Miner right there. Yeah, not bad. Um, so now we know what he's playing. Hmm, he's gonna go minor. I actually have to go with a Tesla. Yeah, I knew he was gonna wall breakers right there. Um, if I played any other troop, they, one of those wall breakers at least would have connected. Probably both. So we made the best decision right here. Um, still don't know what his spell is. This guy is spamming cry emotes on the side too. Like, what in the world? Um, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna log the spear goblins. I need to figure out how I'm gonna get a breakthrough. I'm not sure if he has poison or fireball yet he hasn't used either one um i'm guessing it's probably poison but i don't really know just gonna go tesla up high for this mighty miner that's actually really good i love going for um teslas like that i'm gonna nato and then log these wall breakers kind of a little bit of an awkward uh, defense right there but it got the job done um i switched to snipe these spear goblins he's gonna go miner again holy cow this guy's cycle is insane he's gonna tesla up high to block for everything at least like buy me some time to defend and then go for an expo Um, he goes bomb tower, that's fine. He might go for a miner. Yeah, he's gonna miner. We'll catch it with the skellies, luckily. Um, maybe we get a connection here. Nah, he plays the mighty miner in time. That was well played. I should have been quicker with my um, decision making, and I may, might have got a lock on, but he's gonna fireball that. So it looks like he does have fireball, not poison. That was wrong. Um, we'll go for another expo, though, since his fireball is just out of cycle. He's gonna go bomb tower, and then spears. I'm gonna nato those right away catch the miner again hopefully yeah we catch it and then this time i think we log nice we actually hit the wall breakers too that's gonna be a connection oh solid he's gonna go bats um one bat's gonna connect yeah not bad though he has to waste spears as well we're up damage now and i can just kind of keep spamming him um i'm actually gonna try and bait out a fireball with an ice in the back if he fireballs this i can set up defensive expos for the rest of the game and rocket cycle yeah perfect literally exactly what i wanted him to do um this is exactly what you need to do too because if you keep going in eventually they're gonna keep up with your cycle and like not necessarily like predict you but figure out how to defend against your expo like the most optimal way um and then then you won't be able to get the damage as as well as they're going to be getting fireballs on your expo obviously and the tower so i'm um, gonna go knight we catch the miner this time luckily um ice was kills the spear goblins we'll just go for a tesla up high and then hmm, go for another defensive expo since he does set up the bomb tower at the bridge 
He's gonna go with the Miner. Well, obviously, we're gonna go Knight. Nice, we catch the Miner. That's really good. We can log that off. He's going for Fireball Cycle already. Wow, we can probably go for three Rockets in this time span. So, we're gonna go for Rocket number one right now. Um, I think we can win this if I just play perfectly and don't let, like, any Miner... Or, like, try and prevent as much Miner damage as possible. Shoot, we don't catch the Miner. That's actually really bad. Um, we might be in a little bit of trouble, to be honest. 20 seconds or 30 seconds left, I mean. Um... Shoot, alright, alright, alright. Um. Free Nado. Nice. Uh, I still don't think we win. Wait, maybe we do. I need to catch this miner. I need to catch this miner for sure. Six seconds, please, 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 please. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Two seconds, no way he gets a fireball down. Okay, he literally had a fireball coming down in one more second. But we managed to scrape that win out. That was actually insanely close. Um, yeah, definitely closer than I was hoping it would be. But you kind of just have to go for a rocket cycle at the end and try and catch every single miner. So yeah, um, that's the strategy, I guess. All right, final match against Tiago Expo. Um, just gonna scale these for the ice spirit. Last time I played him, he was using Queen Bow, so we'll see if he's using that right now. Um, just gonna cycle my log. And he's gonna go for a knight in the back, so it could still be 3.0. It also could be Queen Bow, so we'll figure out um, pretty soon um he's probably gonna play whatever he has right now to be honest yeah it's clean so i'm just gonna go for defensive expo um i can't really play anything else right there i can't play a knight because it just gets eaten by the queen um unfortunately i kind of have to burn everything in my deck right now to not lose the game so i'm gonna go scale these on top of the queen and then i also have to go for a log which does suck but um it's better than taking any damage so i'm gonna tank this ice spirit though for sure he goes for an expo i do have tesla ready so i don't think he's gonna go with an expo at the bridge pretty like pretty much be a little bit too aggressive in my opinion so i'm actually gonna cycle an ice in the middle in case he does expo and then hmm. yeah i don't know my cycle is pretty bad just gonna cycle a tesla at the bridge against queen bill i never really like cycling my um i never really like going in with my expo because it's pretty much so easy to counter like i don't know I feel like there's no reason to do it because, I mean, he set up a defensive cannon, so I'm going to go Expo now, but, like, if I was just going in Expo with no support, um, he could just counter it so easily with cannons or knight cannon, like, or just queen, like, anything like that counters the Expo really easily. So, in single elixir, I just like to kind of play patient and let them go in and defend their pushes, so. Just going to go probably for a log when I hit 10 here. And then... So it looks like I was up a couple of weeks there. Just gonna go Ice Wizard in the back. Cycle my Skellies and then go Tesla at the bridge again. Um, I might go Defensive Expo. Actually, I'm gonna go for a Rocket Nato. I know it seems like a little bit aggressive, but I don't think it's a bad play to be honest. Um, he's gonna go for an Expo, obviously. I'm then not gonna go for Knight Ice Wizard at the bridge because I'll lose the game. Um, I have to go for a defensive expo right here. Hopefully he doesn't rocket this. That would really be not good. Um, okay, that's fine. We'll just let this die. And then probably go Tesla here. Okay, that was kind of a... I don't know. It was a really bad Tesla, but it was also a good Tesla because I didn't have much of a choice. Um, I'm kind of in a little bit of trouble here. Going to go for a rocket on zero, though, because I know that I'm not going to be able to stop the expo if I don't. We're also going to hit the knight, so pretty good value, I'd say. Um... He's probably already almost back to another expo. That's the crazy thing, though. So, I'm going to cycle my log now. Catch the ice spear. Not bad. Go Skellies. And then probably play a defensive expo since he went queen. Um, force out a rocket on defense from him, hopefully. Yeah, okay, we do. So, that's good. Um, I'm going to cycle ice spears back. Same lane here. I'm expecting an expo on the left. Okay, he actually goes for a defensive expo. I don't know if I agree with that play. Um, I don't think that's a great play to do. Unless, like, obviously, like, I don't have anything like him. Like, I don't have the queen. Um, that's going to give me value with the defensive expos every single time. Um, Ice Wiz, I guess, kind of does, but it's not, like, the same. So, he's going to rocket again, which is good for me. If I keep making him rocket, then he can never rocket my towers, right? So, that's my thought process right now. Going to cycle knight in the center. Um, he goes queen in the back. Actually, I don't know if I agree with that play. It was kind of weird. Going to go skellies and then set up another um, defensive, since I know he doesn't have rocket back in cycle yet. Okay, he has a rocket now. That's fine. We'll just go Ice Wizard in the back. Um, I actually played it in the wrong lane right there. I just kind of brain farted. Um, so we're going to go Knight up high. 
and then probably gonna have to actually i don't have to log i'm just gonna log in the tower on the left lane oh wow we got actually a lot of damage i wasn't even looking oh my what the okay yeah he just predicted me he literally just pulled uh what i did to aragon freaking on me um we don't predict him either oh my gosh this is so embarrassing guys he literally just predicted my predictions um, but it doesn't matter. I still win the game. Um, there's no way he can like come back unless I make a major mistake. So gonna go for offensive extra just in case he predicts the defensive again. Um, that rocket was crazy though. Um, gonna go for an ice whiz and then he's actually gonna try and pressure. But I have plenty of elixir to defend. He has the pop the ability and if he does, yeah, the expo is just dead. So pretty good um, situation to be in right now. He's actually gonna cannon. I thought he was just gonna let it die or let it, let it go. That's why I play the ice whiz right there. He's gonna rocket, but it doesn't matter. Even if he gets back to another rocket, it literally doesn't matter. Because I'm still up like 800 damage. And Rocket Omega is like 5, 583. Don't quote me on that. I think I can actually get another Rocket down as well. Yeah, we literally get another Rocket down. So even if he uh, managed to take the lead right there, I still would have won the game. But yeah, that was pretty clinical against Queen Bill. A lot of defensive expos force out the defensive Rockets from him. And then um, try and just like catch him off guard with an expo. Or like cycle a lot of cards into your push. And that's how you play. I found the next match against Joker. He plays Mortar. Yeah, I knew he played Mortar. Um, I think he plays Skeleton King, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Obviously, um, he's going to go Miner on top of the Ice Wizards. And yeah, I knew it. So, um, I don't want to do anything. like. But I am going to log this just so it doesn't get a shot. Um, oh, no. <laughs> That's like really bad. Oh my gosh. Are we dead? We might be dead, Loki. I'm um, gonna go Skellies to hopefully clean up some of this. And then Dark Goblin is gonna come down, so we'll go Knight up high. Um, he actually doesn't even pop the ability, so I don't know why he... Like, I don't know what what that whole push was about if he wasn't gonna use the ability too. Since my log was out of cycle, like, that's what I thought was gonna happen right there. Um, but I guess it just didn't happen. Maybe he didn't have enough elixir when he played that Dark Goblin. Um, so I'm just gonna hover my Ice Wiz, be ready for a Mortar at the bridge. Okay, he's actually gonna mortar this right side. Don't know if I agree with that play. I'm gonna log and then I'm gonna have to Tesla as well since I don't have anything else in cycle at all. Um put an NATO for the gang as well. Hopefully this mortar dies. Yeah, it does. So like not bad. Definitely not bad, like at all. Um against mortar decks, if you survive single, like anywhere near their damage, you're definitely chilling. I'm just gonna go with a knight up high here. Oh my gosh, what the heck? He's gonna go forward. I think we're fine if I just go Skellies to kite that um, board over. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're chilling to be honest. Yeah, Minion's gonna get like one or two swings in my tower. It doesn't matter. We're definitely like, um, I th I'd say we're in control of this game um, way more than him right now. Just because like the way we've been playing. And he's been like super aggressive and the pushes aren't getting him any damage. So I think it's pretty safe to go with an offensive expo right here. He actually goes Mortar. I'm gonna Tesla that right away. He goes Skarmy as well. Um, he's gonna probably gang now. Yeah, I'm gonna NATO it. I don't know if he's gonna die, but maybe we get like a little. Yeah, but nice. We actually get like a. F That's actually a ton of damage. Wow, way more than I was anticipating. So, be happy with that. Um, he's gonna go Skeleton King in the back. We'll just match that with the Knight. And whatever he does here, we'll probably. Um, I don't wanna Tesla. I'm kinda scared to Tesla. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I'm so glad I did. Um, I'm gonna NATO this board just to make sure it dies really quickly, and then that was kind of a bad ice placement, I guess, since it is kind of just giving his mortar infinite value right there. Um, so we're just gonna have to Tesla to finish off that mortar, and if he goes in right here, I'm actually gonna go defensive expo again on zero. Log for that dark goblin. Okay, we put part of a gang as well, so definitely a piece solid log right there. I'm just gonna go mine in the safe spot, I'm guessing. Okay, yeah. If you put it in the back right there, I actually might have been in a little bit of trouble because I would have had to respond to that minion hold with more than just a NATO. So he's gonna say good game. It's definitely not over. Um he could still win this as long as I or as long as he like, does something I don't know. I'm gonna go for a rocket. Um oh, okay, that's yeah, that that's pretty much game right there actually, because he's on really low elixir and he doesn't have anything in cycle besides bait cards now. So yeah, he's literally just gonna let me win. Um, that was a really freaking good rocket. He's actually not gonna let me win. I don't know what in the world is happening right now. Um, I'm just gonna ice boost on zero. And all I need is one rocket to win the game now. He should just let it go. I don't know why he like, played after that uh, rocket on defense that I had. That was so much value. I hit the Skeleton King, Mortar, and Dark Goblin, like, all, all in one rocket. 
So yeah, that pretty much won me the game right there. But yeah, Motorcycle, you just got to play defensive since he didn't have a poison or a fireball. And that was a pretty solid, easy matchup. All right, find the next match against Lawliot here. Um, <laughs> I think I think I've played this guy a bunch of times. I'm trying to remember what he plays. I'm not like 100% positive to be honest. It might be Queen Bow. Um, I think it's Expo. Okay, it's not Queen Bow, obviously, because he uh, has the archers. I'm just gonna cycle my skellies in this right lane. I think. Um, okay, wait, it is Expo, so it's probably 3.0. Um, I'm just gonna rocket the Expo. We're gonna take one shot, obviously, but nothing I can do. We actually take two shots. No! I'm trash. Um, don't want to go in since he's probably got Knight or Valkyrie. I'm not sure which one he's running. Oh my, what in the world? Okay, he's got Queen. just happened to be honest yes queen and archers what the heck i'm confused to be honest um gonna hover my tesla in case he wants to go in don't know i don't know exactly what he's running now like i don't know what variation he's running um he might have fireball he might have rocket not sure which one he does he did use his knight so i'm gonna go with my expo um he's gonna be forced to actually play something else on this knight so that's pretty good Goes for archers. I'm gonna log the one on the right since my tower is lower on the right side. And yeah, okay, so archers, archer queen, expo. <laughs> Definitely like a new deck. Um, but I'm gonna just play it like it's queen bell basically, since that's kind of what I kind of related to. I don't know what he switched out for the archers. Maybe it was like. Did he play skeletons yet? I can't remember. Um, but anyway, just going to. Okay, he's gonna queen. We'll go for Tesla up high on that right away, and then Skelly's to protect, hopefully. Nice, good skeletons. He's gonna be forced to pop the ability. He might go with a knight as well. Yeah, he does. So we're just gonna defensive expo. It's gonna get a ton of value. Oh yeah, it's gonna get a ton of value. Ice boost to the side here. And then... Oh no, I played that knight too late. That was my bad for sure. Shoot, I kinda gotta go for a uh, Tesla on defense now. Skellies and then Mog as well. Nice, we actually countered that pretty decently. Um, Can you go Ice was Knight? Oh, beautiful. If he plays anything else, I'll just Tesla as well. Yeah, he, he knows that uh, that defense is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So, we're actually up somehow a little bit of damage, like 8 HP or 12 HP, quick math. Um, I'm gonna go for an X1 offense since I do have a Tesla set up. I'm just gonna have to rocket this most likely. Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna we'll just log the archers on the right side. I'm gonna go expo, we'll just go for the rocket skellies, take one extra shot, doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I don't know. So as long as we can get into triple, I think we can win this. Just by like mind games or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go ice who's in the back. Every time he goes queen, you pretty much wanna go defensive expo right away. Um, Tesla on top of the queen here. Goes for the rocket a little bit later. And I'm not sure if I knew that rocket since he did play it kinda late. Um, he should have probably just rocketed my tower if he's going to do that at that point. Um, we'll go Skelly's to make sure that Queen doesn't shoot. Go Ice was on top of this. And actually, I'm going to go with the Log Nato on these archers. And Knight as well. And then go for Skelly's too. Um, he's actually going to go Knight. Well, he's not defending that right side. That Knight literally just got like five swings on his tower. Um, I have my Tesla ready if he goes Expo again. I'm just going to go for Defensive Expo right now. Oh shoot, so does he. I'm gonna prediction cannon, or not cannon, prediction Tesla for the cannon. Wow, that just came out backwards. Um, don't know, I'm probably not gonna win this bridge fight to be honest, but I'm still gonna... Oh my gosh, that was actually terrible for me. I'm gonna NATO cycle. Oh no. Okay, I just gotta uh, tank a little bit of damage right here and then go for the rocket. I can't afford to play a knight, I'll be too low. Um, he rockets my tower, whatever, I don't care. Uh, we're just gonna go for the expo on defense now since he did go for the queen. Log to push that over, then Skelly's. Knight of High, just to tank, in case he like, wants to freaking fry my expo. He goes for a defensive expo as well. I don't know if I agree with that play. I'm gonna go Rocket. Um, we actually win this, now that I'm thinking about it, as long as we go for like, another Rocket in time, because I do have the NATO and I can get more damage than him since he only has two spells. I'm um, gonna go Knight on top of this Queen, and then go for a defensive expo here. Yeah, I knew he was getting with an expo. He can't Rocket my expo, obviously he has to go for his... 
from Rocket on the Tower, and as long as I play a Night Down in time... Holy smokes, that was actually really close, but we do win the game. Um, pretty, I don't know, kind of a weird matchup since it did, since it did have archers. I think it's my matchup, just slightly, but we played that pretty much to perfection. Uh, predicted every single play he did, and yeah, I mean, that was honestly pretty solid. But yeah, let's see. I kind of want to look at his deck and see what he replaced. Okay, yeah, he took out skeletons for the uh, archers. Alright, going up against Dongi underscore Brawl Stars here. Pretty sure that's what that BS stands for. Maybe it stands for uh, Ridge Bam, I don't know. But just gonna log cycle. Um, he's still not gonna play anything, so I'll go Knight in the back. Okay, Ice Woods, okay. Um, so could be Ice Bow, could be Ice Bow, you never know. Could be um, Skeleton King Graveyard, could be Golem. Um, okay, yeah, there's the Skelly King, so I'm guessing it's Graveyard now. Um, the number okay, um, guys, I don't know why graveyard players keep doing this, but anytime they play their skeleton king out like that, and they already played their ice wiz, just go with an expo in the other lane. They literally can't defend it. Um, I'm about to do it right now once I hit 10. Um, he yeah, obviously, like, all he has right now is tombstone, so if he goes tombstone, yeah, barbell doesn't get down in time. I just play the knight to block for the barbell, and that's literally, get, like, that's not game, but that's pretty much game. Just from the very beginning, he plays, a, he plays both his ground units, and I just punish him right away, so that's, like something to just be aware of if they're playing graveyard if they use the skeleton king like always go in on the other side once you defend um especially in single elixir like double elixir it's not the same if they use it you don't you don't just go in right away but like single elixir if they burn the skeleton king on nothing it's like the biggest mistake they can make so we get over half the tower with one expo that's absolutely insane um now we're in control for the rest of the game too i just need to rocket cycle at the end and probably win the game by that I'm, i don't even know if i'll go for another expo lock here um Okay, nice. My expert's gonna do that. I'm just gonna pull this baby dragon up into the Tesla. Really, actually, solid defense right there. That was like the cleanest thing I could have done. Um, because, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go actually for an expo now since I do have a counter push and it's still single elixir. He's gonna skelly king this most likely. Um, but he will be pretty low. I'll probably just go Tesla at the bridge here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go Tesla at the bridge. He actually goes for an ice wizard. I'm gonna need a log right away, see if I can get a connection. Nah, he's gonna barbarrel, so that was a good play by him. Um, we still get a little bit of damage actually, so we're almost in two rocket range. Once we're in two rocket range, we can play hyper defense. Um, so I'm gonna keep pressuring with Expo since he did use poison already. Um, Tesla up high. I thought he was getting ice wizard, but he played it a little bit farther back. Um, gonna log for this skelly king, and then he's gonna be forced to barbarrel here. We're gonna connect again. Yeah, look at this. Like, literally, he doesn't even... He can't even stop me right now. I don't know what it is, um, but we're just, like, kind of killing all the support units really quickly. Um, just gonna keep exploring. Why not? I don't see the see why we wouldn't. Um, he's gonna tombstone. That's fine. We'll go for Tesla. He does burn the ice was already. He's gonna log the tombstone just to make sure he dies quicker. He does. Yeah, I think he's gonna be able to defend this time since he has... Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Okay, that was a terrible night. I might have just like sold a little bit right there, I'm not gonna lie. I'm um, gonna go Ice Wiz up high just to slow everything down though. And then I think Defense Vexpo might be the play. He's probably gonna go in right here. Yeah, he is. Okay, yeah, there's the graveyard. Just Tesla up high for the baby drag, and then. I'm gonna go for rocket number one right now, just need to get back to one more. I um, still have 2k HP on my tower, so there's really, yeah, he's just gonna give up. Um, I'm gonna give him a good game. We pretty much won from that very first push. Just be aware of what they're using. Like, that's my main main tip. And, like, if they make a mistake like that, you can just punish it right off the bat and win the game. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but, like, definitely when it does, it's a good feeling. And especially when you recognize that and you, like, punish them for it, um, you definitely feel good about yourself after. So, yeah, pretty solid uh, win against Splash Shed right there. Alright, found the next game here against Ruben. Um, last time I played Ruben, I freaking had his number and absolutely wrecked him, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm not trying to brag, but, like, yeah, I think it was in a video, too. I, like, predicted every single play he did. But he definitely wasn't playing log bait. Um, I'm just gonna go Ice Wiz to counter these goblins. Also gonna skellies, because I think they're gonna bypass. Um, so, log bait. Hmm. Not my favorite matchup to play against, but, um, you definitely need to know how to play against it, because it's pretty dang popular. We're gonna hover my knight. Nice, we catch the princess, maybe? How do we not catch the princess right there? I swear I played that knight right away. Um, that's triggering. He's gonna go goblins. I'm just gonna hover my log and see where he plays him. 
Okay, I'm gonna log them right away. Just force something else out of him. That's my main goal right now. Um, he logs as well. That's fine. So, ah, kind of not a great start, but we do... I don't know. I feel like I feel like I can win this if I play perfectly. Um, even though we did get that princess damage at the beginning, it doesn't really matter. All I need is one rocket to catch up. Like, so we're definitely chilling. He's not gonna princess. There's no way he has the... The, uh, that back in cycle. Actually, he might have a back in cycle. I don't remember. Um, he's gonna go barrel in the back. I'm just gonna nato it up to, like, so my ice boost can help out and, um, hit that right there. So we're gonna go, hmm, knight just to make sure he doesn't princess. Okay, he literally does princess. Oh my goodness. Um, we'll go for Tesla, and if he goes for a cannon to protect, we'll just log the princess and the cannon. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but, um, I don't really have much of a choice. Wait a minute, guys. I think he just lost the game. Um, think about it, he just used Mighty Miner and he just used Cannon, and he does not even have anywhere near enough Elixir for a Rocket right now, so, I mean, yeah, he's gonna save up for Rocket, it looks like, but, like, this is getting a ton of damage. Nice, he plays the Rocket, we literally get, like, 1500 damage, or, like, 1300 damage just from that one Expo, um, really, like, again, I'm just kinda, like, to, to be good with Ice Will, you kinda just have to read your opponent, you can't really rely on matchups, cause most of the matchups are gonna be difficult no matter what, um, so like right there, obviously I recognize he didn't have Mega or Mighty Miner in cycle or or have the um cannon in cycle, so he had absolutely nothing for the expo. And if you played goblins, they're pretty much just dead. Um goblins weren't gonna save him right there because obviously he needs to actually kill the expo with something. So that's why he had to save up with the rocket. That was definitely the right play by him. Definitely kept him like in the game. Um if he didn't do that, he would have lost right away, so. Just gonna go for a defensive expo, force out a rocket from him. That's really good. Um, I'm probably gonna keep doing that the rest of the game since I do have the advantage. Um, I know it's kind of an annoying play if you're the opponent because you don't have, like, you have to uh, constantly keep freaking uh, rocketing expos on defense, which you obviously don't ever want to do. But it's kind of like the best way. He's probably gonna log this ice whiz. Yeah, I knew it. They're also predictable with the plays like they make. Um, I'm just gonna log the barrel, and then this expo should clean up the other princess once it starts walking. Um, we're gonna go skellies up high. Honestly, go for a rocket now. We're up way, we're up like a decent bit of uh, elixir. So I'm just gonna go ice boost in the back now. I'm not really scared of wog bait. Like it's the one deck I'm not scared of if they have way more elixir on the board than me. I'm just gonna tank a little bit of goblin barrel damage and then. Okay, I'm yeah, definitely gonna log the right lane now since he gave me that much value. Um, skellies in the back. Also gonna go nato just to prevent most damage and then yeah, we're chilling. Just gonna set up another defensive expo here. In a second, once I get a few more... Actually, I'm gonna go Ice Boost first. Yeah, he's gonna go Barrel. Um, Knight as well. He gets a decent bit of damage, but it doesn't really matter. I just need two Rockets, so I'm just gonna go for Defensive Expo now. He Rockets that right away. It should kill the Princess still. Yeah, that's like my favorite interaction in the game, is that the Expo barely kills the Princess. Um, just gonna go with a Tesla on the left side. Kind of lower. My Knight actually gets a swing on Tower. That's pretty crazy right there. Um, Ice was in the back is probably... Actually, I'm gonna go Ice was at the bridge. Um, and then log for this barrel. He's gonna log, which is fine. We'll just go Skelly's. Actually, I'm gonna go Defensive Expo again. And then... Man, he's kinda being annoying, to be honest. So I'm just gonna nato this barrel up. Um, we can go for a rocket now. We just need one more. All I need to do is cycle back. Even if, even if he does, like, a billion damage. Um, to my tower, like... He still can't win the game as long as I don't let him get in rocket range. So yeah, oh my gosh, that log value was insane right there. Um, that's going to be GG's. He's spamming, but it's already over, obviously. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is against Ruben, but I just play really good and like have a really clean, like clear mind. Um, but yeah, pretty solid win against Logbait. Uh, definitely a tougher matchup, too. Alright, in the next game against BLBR from Bloody Bride. Um, a lot of Bs in his name, so... Don't know what he's playing either, to be honest, so... Gonna just go Ice Boost in the back, I think. Okay, that's literally the worst timing ever. Um, he might be playing Log Bay too, which would be a little bit annoying. But it is good to like show a lot of Log Bay games since it is like probably, I'd say, top 5 deck in the meta this this season for sure. Um, don't know, I can't really give a top 5, but definitely... Um, Expo is probably up there, to be honest. Just like Expo decks in general. Not Ice Bow, it's kind of not not very much in the meta compared to Queen and like 3.0. But I mean, it's still, still definitely a pretty good. Um, I think it's the best deck in the meta, personally, like, Expo deck, but, I mean, obviously I'm a little bit biased, right? So we're gonna go for a log on this Mighty Miner and the Goblins. Um, okay, I thought he'd be back to cannon, but I was hoping he wasn't, um, somehow. I just magically was hoping he didn't have it that in cycle. Um, but he does, so we're just gonna hover the knight for the princess. 
I need to try and get the King Tower activated here pretty soon. Um, uh, not a great uh, situation to be in. I'm just going to go Expo at the bridge. Alright, yeah, 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 this is fine. Um, he goes Mighty Bender. I'm actually going to NATO that at a range. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. It just, that just barely worked. Um, and I think I should be completely fine here. He's going to... Hmm, I'm going to go with my Skellies in the center. Ice Wiz again. Or not again, um, in the center as well, because he did put the Ice Spirit. And yeah, that's literally... Oh my gosh, look how much damage we got, guys, just from the one NATO. Like, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You just have to do the little outplays with Ice Bow, and you can win, like, almost any single matchup in this game, besides, obviously, uh, some matchups like Recruits. But, I mean, you can win Recruits, like, maybe, like, 1 out of 50 times if you're lucky. So, I mean, technically, you still can. Okay, we're predicting him now. This is this is over. We're dominating this. Um, Logbait, like, I don't know. I've played against Logbait so many times in my, like, time playing Clash Royale that there's just no way that I lose to a player that's going to be playing, like, super aggressive like that just princessing the bridge every time so all i need is two more rockets easy win right here as long as i don't make any mistakes um just need to make sure i don't take too much barrel damage um if he outcycles me obviously so huh what do i need to do here he's gonna princess in the back i think that's a bad play just gonna go for a log on top of that princess honestly i don't really have anything else to cycle i just want to cycle to my rocket um we're gonna go rocket now he actually hits the ice wizard with the rocket not bad from him he's probably gonna princess the bridge too I'm going to tank a little bit of damage here. I'm actually going to go Ice Wiz in case he princesses. Okay, he doesn't. So yeah, 13 seconds. We actually got... My tower actually got really low. Um, but we should still win this. Gonna skellies, and then we should go for a rocket. Four seconds left, three seconds. There's no way that barrel gets there in time. But we're fine. Even if it does, we do have the NATO. Um, but that actually got pretty close at the end, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but we still managed to pull out the win. And hopefully that helps you guys against Logbait. Because it's definitely one of the toughest matchups. Alright, final game in the, of the video here. I literally played ladder for so long, and I didn't face a single recruit deck, so I got my boy Kenny. He's going to be playing uh, recruits against me, um, so shout out to him. Definitely go f uh, subscribe to his channel. He's pretty freaking sick, too. I'm um, going to go for a knight. He's playing the Goblin Hut variation with Fireball, I think, so definitely a, definitely a really, really bad matchup for me, obviously. Um, we're going to try and do our best to show what I would do against this. Even if I lose, I'll still put it in, but just going to go Tesla at the bridge. Uh, I'm gonna log this Goblin Hut just to make sure. Oh, actually, that's gonna be a really nice log. So we're gonna hit the Zappies as well. Um, I'm gonna go Ice Wiz. He's going pretty dang aggressive with the pigs, I'd say. Uh, I guess I have to go. Oh, I should have NATO. That was. A... Oh yeah, that was a dumb moment by me. Um, Ice Wiz is gonna die now. Oh, I should have definitely NATO. I could have won the game right away. I'm still gonna go for an Expo though, since he doesn't have enough recruits. I don't think. No way he does, right? Okay, yeah, he doesn't. Um, he's going to go recruits now a little bit late. That's probably still the right play, to be honest. Um, he's going to Barbaro. Yeah, yikes. Uh, we'll go Skelly's up high just to kite everything over, and then kind of have to go for a nice whistle low here. Oh, shoot, he's flying machining. I need to NATO this over as soon as I can. Okay, nice. We only take one shot, so definitely not the end of the world. I need to go Tesla on zero if he's back to pig somehow. Um, hopefully he's not... Because if he is, I would definitely be in trouble. But, like, after that huge lock, we're literally only up 300 damage. Like, this is what I mean. This is definitely not a good matchup. Um, but we did get the lock on, which is very key. Hopefully, we can uh, continue to apply pressure on offense and not get overwhelmed on defense the whole game. So, I'm actually going to go for a defensive expo here on this hut. Um, I hate, absolutely hate playing against goblin huts because they just... I don't know. They do this one little interaction where the goblins don't actually go to the Tesla. Like, one goblin pops to the side and hits my tower, which is so annoying. I don't know why that's in the game, but it is definitely frustrating. I'm just going to cycle my uh, knight in the back. He also did fireball, so I can stack ice wizards right now. I need to definitely try and do that because this defense is about to suck. Um, okay, he's probably going to recruit the bridge, if I had to guess. Actually, he's going to go with a flying machine. I'm going to NATO in right away. Even if the Tesla doesn't hit that flying machine, it's still going to die because I have the ice wizard here slowing everything down. And yeah, that's pretty much the, like, that's the best way you can um, counter the flying machines. He's going to go for a recruit to the bridge a little bit late. I don't know. I guess he should have done that first before the um, flying machine, in my opinion. But we are in a decent situation. I'm probably going to go... Oh, man. This sucks, actually. I need to go for an offensive expert, but I don't have anything to kill those goblins. Um, he's going to zappies, which is fine. We'll just NATO up high and then log maybe a second. Not great, to be honest. Um, he just counters with the Mighty Miner. That was a good play by him. 
so we don't really get much. We get a couple log chips on tower, I guess, if you want to take away something from that. And then I'm just going to go Tesla up high to kill this flying machine. Um, pretty weird pigs by him. I think he thought that the Tesla wasn't going to pull them. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe he thought the Tesla was going to die. But we're in a good situation now. He's going to recruit, which is fine. Um, we'll just go... Hmm. Okay, he's going to fireball as well. We'll just log and then ice boost to the left side here. Going to pull this over with the knight. Um, cycle nice skeletons as well. And then just go for a defensive expo, I think. Yeah, nice. We catch the goblin hut, which is really good. He's going to go mighty miner on the right. Um, just going to try and protect this as much as I can. I'm um, just going to flying machine in the middle um we catch it with the knight oh my god wait wait look at the left oh my gosh what the heck i didn't even realize holy cow the, wait what just happened that tower i swear that tower was literally on 3000 hp a second ago and now it's on 200 so i mean i'm not complaining we're gonna take the lane against recruits let's go um i don't even know what happened guys to be honest but we were like kind of in control of that game anyways so yeah uh, that's gonna be the end of the guide um thanks for watching guys and merry christmas to everyone peace